Hello again and welcome to Programming in Access 2013. I'm your host Steve Bishop and today we're going to be talking about select queries. Alright, I'm going to go back into our database here where I've got all my tables set up. I don't have any queries currently. We're going to create our first one. So let's go up to the Create tab and under Query Design. Now, again, I just want to reiterate, I really prefer not to use the wizards. I'd rather start with a blank slate, especially if we're learning. It's good practice to go from blank and figure out how to build from a clean slate like that. So I'm going to hit Query Design, and this is going to open up a little designer that Access has. Now, for this particular select query, what I've decided to do is get a list of all of our customers with their addresses. So I'm going to click on Customers, and I'm going to select addresses and I can notice I can highlight in this uh, in this um, dialog window I can select multiple different types of tables that I want to add so I'm going to add the table one addresses table which is the table again that holds the actual address information and I also want to get the customers because in this table one customers table I have the name or the company name of my customer now there will be queries as I create queries along the way I will also be able to use the queries themselves as something to build another query on which is really cool I can kinda create my section I can make little sections of data that I want to get and sometimes that's really important to do but for right now I'm gonna just deal with the tables I got addresses and customers alright let's go ahead and add those two things and as you can see, the relationship that I set up in the back here in the relationships uh, um, in the designer, you'll see that that same relationship is already decided and developed here for my uh, for my query. Now, if I wanted to change it, I certainly could, um, and I'll get into why you might want to do that here in just a moment. But for right now what we're interested in doing is taking some of this information and figuring out, okay, now if I'm going to create a list of all of my addresses and the name of my customer, how do I do that? You're probably wondering, how, how does he do this? It's Really, there's a couple of different ways. You can either click on the field that you want and drag it and drop it to the column down below of where you want it placed. And when this gets printed out, when you actually see the view, the, the information, it will show in the order that you place it down here. So this will be the first column on my query that I see. Then I don't need the customer ID, I don't need the address type ID, but I will need the attention field because if I have a specific person I want my label to say it's going to, then I obviously want to have their name in it. Then I also want to get address line two, line one, and line two and you can see I'm just dragging and dropping those things. The other thing you can do is you can actually uh, highlight a, uh, I'm sorry, you can double click on a state, oh, there we go, you can highlight on all three of these and you can drag them and drop them uh, and that's that's probably a very, you know, if I get rid of all of these here just for a moment <clears throat> and I, attention, address line one, two, city, state, zip now all of these are going to be highlighted. Give my computer a second to think here. And there we go. Now I just drag and drop and notice that all of them get put down uh, down here in the, in the order. And once I'm done with that, that's pretty much all I need to do. I can click on the view option here from the designer tab, hit view, and there we go. There's Metro Properties, Attention, and address line one, address line two, city, state, zip code, hamster wheels ink, I don't have any address information for, and so it comes up blank. Now, you're probably wondering, well, okay, he's got blank information in here. That's that's great. Uh, why is it then that this is showing up with data in it, and this is also showing up with data in it? Because one of the things I can do is, let's say I only want to show those at those customers that have an address. Well, if I take this relationship and I'm going to double click on it, you'll notice this window looks a little bit familiar. It has our left table join name and left column 
name, right? The ID for table one customers. And then the table one addresses has the customer ID. Remember, this was the primary key. This was the foreign key, right? And you'll notice that back when we set up the relationship in the relationship mapper, we set it to include all records from table one customers and only those records from table one addresses where the join fields are equal. So this is basically saying, show all of my customers and show me only the address entries where there is something equal. And since I have nothing for customer two, it's gonna show blank. Now if I click up here and I say only include rows where the join fields from both tables are equal, what that's gonna do is it's actually going to filter our results so that only Metro property shows because it's the only customer that we have an address for. And you can see how that would be really handy because if I had it the other way and I wanted to print out my list of customers, uh, you know, my address list of customers, I probably don't want to get a full complete list including the ones that don't have an address. That would be kind of silly to have a bunch of blanks in my report, you know, in, in my list. I want the one that's just going to show me those who I do have an address for. All right, it's pretty neat, huh? All right, well, that's how you basically drag and drop your uh, list in here. One other way I wanna show you just real quickly about how you can uh, pretty quickly just add your uh, your columns your, that you wanna see. You just simply have to double click on the one that you want and you'll see that it drops it down in here. So remember, it'll do it in order that you place them. So if I do this, add them all together like this, all right, and that's how you put it together. And if I need to move these around, I can. you'll see that I get this drop-down arrow pointing down. If I now click on it, that's going to highlight the whole row. And then if I want to arrange it to, a, to move it to a different location, I just drag and drop it to this new location. And now I click on View, and there's my state, city, and zip instead. All right, I hope that makes sense, some sense to you. I hope that's uh, easy enough and straightforward enough for you about how this is going to display data based upon the, the selection that you've made. I'm going to go ahead and save this query, and I'm going to call it query, oops, let me drop my caps lock here, query addresses, or I can say customer addresses. All right, and that's going to do it for saving our first select query.